That was a very inspirational and thought-provoking video from Tom and Hugh and the production company. Thinking more broadly about our ExxonMobil affiliate, 2015 was a tremendous year for us. We saw a transition away from the decades-long operations in Aceh to a new beginning in the Chepu block with the startup of the Banya Europe project. Elsewhere in our affiliate, we continue to grow our downstream business. And even in these challenging business times, we have tremendous opportunities. We can be profitable and contribute greatly to our company's success here in Indonesia. So we think about Safe Start in 2016. We're the team that's going to set the culture for our new CPO organization. And we have that opportunity here in the first year of operations to set ourselves up to achieve our vision of nobody gets hurt. So as you think about your personal commitment to safety and the commitment of your team to safety this year, please reflect on what you can do to achieve our vision of nobody gets hurt. 2015 was a successful year ultimately for the Banyu Euro project, but not a complete success. We had significant safety incidents during the course of the year. We've learned from those and we're hoping to build on that so we go through 2016 without anybody else getting hurt. As we move into the next phase of this project, we're working very closely with production to make sure that we complete this facility safely and as quickly as we can. Please make sure everybody goes home safe this year. As we look over 2015, we made a great success of Nobody Gets Hurt. It's not a slogan, it's real. Nobody in drilling family gets hurt in 2015. We want to continue our success in 2016. We have to avoid complacency. We need to continue to nurture our culture of caring and our culture of procedural discipline. Now what I'm really pleased to say is when I visited the site over the last couple of weeks during the startup process of Banya Europe and Train A, what's been just tremendous is the focus on work management compliance and also just taking the time to follow procedures which is absolutely fundamental in how we do our activities at the field. You know, if we're going to achieve our vision of nobody gets hurt, it's going to take all of us to really focus on full compliance, supporting each other, taking time to care for one another, and just making sure that we look out and intervene where things just don't look the way they're meant to look. Keselamatan bekerja adalah sebuah perjalanan di mana dari tahun ke tahun harus kita tingkatkan. Dan dalam 2015 ini kita bisa mencapainya. Dan harapan saya untuk ke 2016 kita terus tingkatkan keselamatan kerja dalam fasilitas yang kita miliki. Keselamatan kita adalah kebahagiaan keluarga kita dan teman-teman sekitar kita. Tahun 2015 kita telah melewati tahun yang aman, selamat, dan dengan partisipasi semua pekerja saling menjaga, bekerja dalam satu tim, satu keluarga. Tentunya kita akan menggunakan hal-hal yang baik ini kita bawa ke 2016 sehingga tahun 2016 kita akan mempunyai performa yang lebih bagus lagi di dalam keselamatan, keamanan, produktivitas maupun efektivitas kerja. Keselamatan di tempat kerja mencakup kantor tempat kita bekerja sehari-hari dan juga tempat-tempat yang kita kunjungi berkaitan dengan pekerjaan. Jadi dimanapun kita bekerja, tujuan keselamatan kita tetap sama, nobody gets hurt. Kita bertanggung jawab untuk selalu memperhatikan secara aktif keselamatan kita sendiri dan juga rekan kerja. Tempat bekerja ergonomis dan melakukan ergonomi breaks juga sangat penting untuk kesehatan jangka panjang kita. Memperhatikan keselamatan kerja secara aktif berarti kita melakukan intervensi langsung jika kita melihat situasi yang tidak ergonomis atau tanda-tanda stres dan kelelahan pada rekan kerja Anda. Seperti halnya di lapangan dan fasilitas operasi, di kantor pun kita harus selalu memastikan keselamatan kerja as our safety journey never ends. Tujuh tahun bergabung dengan Exxon Mobil, banyak ilmu yang saya dapatkan mengenai keselamatan kerja. Salah satu contohnya menerapkan SPSE dalam kehidupan sehari-hari, Safe Performance Self-Assessment, eh, analisa dini untuk keselamatan diri. Nah, dengan ilmu dan training yang saya dapatkan di Exxon Mobil ini, meningkatkan kewaspadaan diri saya terhadap bahaya yang akan dihadapi di dalam kegiatan sehari-hari.
At ExxonMobil Indonesia, we're one family and we were working together to deliver our vision of nobody gets hurt. So as you think about what you've heard today and how you're going to address your safety and the safety of your team in 2016, I ask that each of you and each of us work together focusing on the task at hand, intervening when things are not right, stopping when we don't understand if we can proceed safely or not, and taking that personal commitment to ourselves and to our coworkers to set a culture of safety that will last for decades. Thank you very much for your attention to this most important objective of our affiliate. One team. One family. Working together. <laughs>